Hi, and Hi. welcome to Ask My Life, the show where we, <laughs> there's going to be letters. If, if she doesn't put those in there. It's going to be Ask My Wife. <laughs> so just in case it wasn't clear, it's about asking her wife. So basically, the premise of this, the premise of this Do video... I think it's clear. We have questions from my Patreon page, patreon.com slash ALB, and there are questions that my patrons, who are wonderful, have asked as like an AMA, and that's what we're going to do. So you may notice yeah. that we're in matching pajamas and today. And like, it's cute too, because... <laughs> oh, and it's really cute. No, just I like... So all I can see is the preview, and again... You're like a little ghost, and I'm just like the grimace. Don't look at the preview. You're never oh, supposed no. to look yeah. at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't look at that. Oops. These are our really cool These new are our matching Christmas PJs. Matching pajamas. And we love them. I've never had um, matching PJs like this. I love them. They're so soft and comfortable. They're covered in Disney villains, such mm -hmm. as Ursula and Cruella de Vil, mm -hmm. and Maleficent, and uh, exclusively all the good ones. I really like the little, like, detail here. Yeah, it's really cute. It's cool, too, because it's weird. They just showed up initially as purple pajamas, mm -hmm. but then after Disney bought Fox, I it just, like, popped right on. Topical. <laughs> My pajamas are Sleeping Beauty, and they have all the good fairies on all them. All those good fairies. So all those good, good fairies. Um, yeah. And then they have a cute little, like, castle detail it's here. It's cute. So. Who's your favorite fairy, Bibbidi, Bobbidi, or Boo? That's not what the... Who's your favorite? Who? Boo. <laughs> Boo's a good one. Snooky. Snooky? <laughs> Fantastic. Jersey Shore coming back to television. I can't wait. I'm so excited for Jersey Shore. It's my lovable trash show. I love Jersey Shore so much that I married an Italian from New Jersey. You know, I will say, um, Snooky is a lovely individual. I'm so jealous that you've met yeah. her. Oh. She's, she's very, very nice. When I, I used to be a barista and she would come in. And she was always very, very nice. Remember when the the first time it happened and like you got off work and you were like, guess what? Yeah, because you you love it because you're a monster. Um, but yeah, she... Hey, I'm supporting the Snookster. Right. No, absolutely. Gotta support the Snookster. She she needs okay. that. Um, Remember, I was like, my first question was like, what did well, what name did she ask for on the cup? Was it, it, was, was it, it was Nicole her, it or It was her Snooki? real name. It was her real name. I don't think people in her life call her Snooky. I agree. <laughs> I was just wondering. I think that'd be really, really weird about it. <laughs> Call like, me Snooky. Like, she gets really Her mad. kids? Yeah, like, no, it's Snooky. No, no, it's not Mommy. It's Snooky. It's um, the holiday season. It's so festive. It's really nice. This is, um, we've celebrated together, but never in our own home together. It's always yes. been like, yeah. oh, we're staying at, you know, someone else's. Yeah. And last um, year, we weren't together for no, Christmas at it all. It was horrible. Yeah. It was not good. I was here by myself at Christmas last year with just the cats. Yeah. It was I, a bad time. Yeah, last last year was rough yeah, for, for both, both of, of us. us. But, yeah. you know, it was cool because, like, two seconds later, we ended up living together. I know. So it was really nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Almost one year in Canada for you. I know. I'm going to get my little uh, certificate that they give you. <laughs> That's The yeah. little gold star. Uh, J. Trudes goes... J. Trudes does that. Mm -hmm. He just falls down the stairs, hands me the certificate, and then just crawls away backwards like he's from The Exorcist. Hey, you know what? It's all Let's look at the questions! Yeah, the cool, questions. cool, cool. We've got a great one from Alyssa O. I'd love to hear the story behind your wedding rings. Oh, that's a nice question. Why don't you tell it? <laughs> okay, yeah. So we actually weren't initially, I think we may have said this, that we weren't initially going to get wedding rings. Yeah, we were not um, originally going to. Because we're, we're so cool and No, we're just like practical and we yeah, were like, no, we don't need expensive. rings. Like, they're, ooh, people are telling us we have to get rings. Like, we don't need to do anything we don't want to do, which I still agree with. But yeah. rings are so expensive and yeah, I don't we know. Were, we were going to get matching tattoos yeah. initially. But we still probably will. Mm -hmm. So we weren't initially going to get them. Yeah, we just weren't. We found... And we didn't do the engagement ring thing. That's the no, important thing. No, no, we know. kind of... Because we weren't like... Oh, well, we you? basically just said, screw it to the whole traditional process. We Everything were, about it. Yeah, we're just like, hey, the man, not today. Um, uh -uh. And then we just went and did did the so dang thing. So we just thing. picked out our rings together. Yeah. We didn't try to get matching rings at no, all. No. Because we don't really... Well, I think we match, but like... Our souls match. Our, <laughs> just that our style isn't something that like, it would suit the no, other... No, a ring that would look jewelry. good on you would not yeah. suit me. Yeah. Gold does not look good on me at all. And silver or white gold or platinum, I any... I looks good on you. Uh, 
gold looks so cheap on me. Like, even the finest gold, you put it on me, and you're like, what is, yeah. is that from the arcade? Did you get that, like, in a bin? It looks bad, so. Yeah. It's like we a just, little, little SpaghettiO send away. <laughs> yeah. So we just picked out stuff that, like, was so good for us and so captured our personalities. But then they have, like, little secret gems on yeah, them. Yeah, the little pink sapphires. Little pink sapphires that you can only see So we have underneath a unifying, the little yeah. unifying stone in there, mm-hmm. which I really like and is super cute. It's a special little secret, and it's not a secret anymore because now everyone on the internet knows, but it's like yeah. a special little thing where we usually can just look at it and be like, ah, oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. So nice. That's the story of the rings. We love them. They're fantastic. Mm-hmm. I will say... There have been one or two videos where people have commented and been like, why are you wearing your ring? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just really... It's it's not for any reason. It's literally that I've never owned fancy jewelry before. This is my first time ever owning fancy jewelry. Everything I own is costume jewelry. So, like, number one, I'm really afraid of messing it up. So if there's days where I have to go out and do stuff that's, like, heavy carrying, I just won't wear it because I have a great fear of... Something happening to it, which I need to get over. Like when we grocery shop, yeah. we take our rings yeah. off. Um, also, a lot of the time is you do videos where you're doing like messy things, messy things, and you can't. I need to be washing my hands all the time. I don't know because it's not like it's a it's not a wedding band. It's a it's no. A it's like ring it's with a, a jewel, a stone on it. Yeah. So like that's gonna get caught up in all that gook, yeah. and you don't want that. I don't nobody want that. Wa- nobody wants that. So I sometimes just I forget, but I've been trying to be better. It's not for any reason. No, it's sure, literally, yeah. No! <laughs> it's not for any reason. It's just that I'm... I it's, suck. Whoa, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, no. First of all... Yeah, defend me. Keep going. <laughs> Let's do another question. Yeah, of course. So, I like this one a lot. So, this one is from Kayla. Does Nico get ASMR? <gasps> what did she think when you told her about your channel? Did I tell you about my channel when we first met, or did I save that for later? You saved... I feel like I saved So what you told me when mm-hmm. we first met, you just, you're like, oh, I do YouTube vlogging. And you kind of left it at that. I don't even know if you showed me your I don't stuff. think I showed you my stuff. You gave me your gift card. It's co- not or, that um, I'm embarrassed. Card. Wow. Your business card, which I did save. Yeah. And I still have that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we even talked about that in another video. But you did that, and yeah. you kind of didn't really want to talk too much about what you did. Okay. And we, we have talked about why that is the case. Yeah, which is just to clarify, it's not that I didn't want her to know that I made YouTube videos. It's just that sometimes when you're making a romantic relationship with someone, like I wanted to have, I wanted her to gauge her impression of me based on what is Actual right in front of her rather yeah. than going and watching a bunch of my videos and feeling like she has that impression of me. Well, they're yeah. the same person, but it's so different. It's a different lens and also they're curated and they're representative of different time periods. Yeah. So it would be weird for me to just meet you and then watch a video you made years and you know what yeah, I mean? So like, like that's weird. not a good representation of yeah. who you are now. So, okay. So when did I tell you that about I did ASMR. ASMR? That was on one of our phone calls mm. because we were talking about that and I did not guess who did not understand ASMR. Also, I will say like at that point, that was like what, four years ago almost? Almost oh, yeah. four years yeah. ago. This was a while I ago. wasn't necessarily as like. Now you're deep into ASMR. Not even deep. I wasn't necessarily as, like, I don't give a hoot what anyone thinks of ASMR at that point. Because it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. Right. The way it is now, like, I can say ASMR to people and they know what I'm talking about. But back then, it's not that I was ever embarrassed. It was just like, I don't know who I can and can't talk to about this. Because I don't know if they're going to think it's weird. I had a very different perception of what ASMR was. Right. And what it is, is it's it's... It's basically kind of, in some ways, it's half-guided meditation. In some ways, it's relaxation or sleep aid. Um, and in some in some ways, it's like, it's just watching a regular video, but yeah. everything's dialed back so exactly. that it's just chill. It's creating an environment like, that makes you feel comfortable and yeah. gives you the, the, the tingles. And I think... No, okay, do you get ASMR? No, okay, I don't, don't get ASMR. Do you remember what gave me ASMR for the first time? Which was very recent. Because you were a little bit disappointed that you weren't involved in the process. It's not that I need to give you ASMR. It's just that I thought you couldn't get ASMR. You were the, like, you were the d- provider d- of d- ASMR. <laughs> just to clarify, like, I all the time do things that would give someone with ASMR the tingles to her. Like, I play brush with her hair very gently and do nice things 
Yeah, but do you remember what it what happened? Go ahead, tell them. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> this summer, I marathoned all of Hannibal, and boy howdy, therapy scenes with Mads, um, gave me ASMR. Is it his voice? Is it like it's, his? It's how he speaks okay. when he's in therapy mode, mm. which is a lot so of people find accents. Up give them it's but it's yeah. not it's not when he talks all the time okay and it's not all accents it was no i know but like yeah. some people find like this kind of accent gives me asmr or whatever it was just that Weird. and it was just specifically i think it's just his... mads mickelson is it mickelson mickelson Mick- michelson Kojima would know. Spooky, yeah, and I remember really it specifically. Spooky. It was the scene where he's like, okay, you're having a panic attack, draw the clock. And and you were like, Which tingles. is a very dark scene. Yeah. Because the context is horrible. But I'm like, wow, this sure does make me <laughs> wow, feel good. Wow, ASMR's real. <laughs> All right, what's yes. the next one? So I know this is a fun one, one. Okay. From Maria M. If you were a Pokemon trainer, what would your team be? We know this. We do know this. We know this so well. Okay, would you like to go first? Yes, I would. Okay. So, my team... Can you tell... Just before you get yes. started, why do you pick these ones? Yeah, okay. Um, I love poison Pokemon. Mm-hmm. I think that they're really cute, and they used to be a garbage type for a long, long time. Oh, that's true. Um, now they're actually super useful. Mm-hmm. Um, but I always thought they were like cute little underdogs, and also it's because Bulbasaur... Um, is a poison Pokemon and mm. was my very first Pokemon, and I love Bulbasaur so much. That's some wholesome. Yeah, that's exactly. nice. Yeah. So, okay, so tell me. Yeah. What um, your Pokemon? Venusaur are. definitely, because mm-hmm. Venusaur is a big old, big old goober that just is beautiful in mm. her own special way and sleepy. Mm. And I, I love Venus. I identify. I a always lot. like picture her mouth going. Ah. I think Venusaur's ah. beauty is my beauty. Oh, I that's think, so yeah. nice. I, I, I like Venusaur a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Gengar. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. like, that's a pretty... Uh, a lot of that's people like Gengar. Classic. But, like, yeah. yeah, come on. Yeah. Um, Alolan Muck. I love Alolan Muck because Alolan Muck... love Alolan Muck? ...is beautiful. <laughs> and also, Alolan Muck loves to clean. I love to clean. You love to clean. Alolan Muck could be my cleaning buddy, and they have a pleasant scent. Ditto. Who's another little goopy? I love the Ditto face. I a little say. goopy man. Mm-hmm. I like Ditto because Ditto can be whatever Ditto wants to be. That's nice. And it's very inspiring. And mm-hmm. I love Ditto's little cute face. And, He's always like. Mm. Um, and then I have Marini. Mm, yeah, um, very nice. Marini, I love um, just aesthetically, and I like. We have like this dumb little thing, and I'm kind of gonna steal. Go ahead. One of yours. One of yours is Corsola. Yeah. And Marini hunts Corsola. So it's, we have like a weird little. I know. We tried to make it romantic. We're so cheesy. Um, and I, I just like Marini a lot. I, it's a really cool, awesome Pokemon. Yeah. And it I love it. It fits you. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it, it's a, uh, our temperaments are similar. <laughs> um, and then I have Weavile. Yeah. Weavile has been makes sense. my fave mm. for a long, long time. Um, cause it's just a little jerk cat and I love Weavile. Just like Dawn. Just like Dawn. Those are good choices. Yeah. Very you. Yeah. Now, how about you? Okay, mine are... Vaporeon has been my favorite Pokemon since childhood. When I was in, I think, third or fourth grade, my mom made me a complete Vaporeon costume with the huge tail and the headpiece. I love Vaporeon, and she's still my favorite. And then I would have Alolan Ninetales... Um, Corsola. Mm-hmm. As we, as we, as we talked on. about. Primarina. Yeah. I think just as, uh, Venusaur is my beauty, Primarina is your beauty. Yeah. <laughs> that is oh, your... Oh, wait. Oh, I get what you're saying now. Yeah. That's oh, nice. sorry. It, yeah, it was kind of like a weird, vague... That's But now nice. it doesn't make more sense in context. That's really yeah. sweet. Okay. Primarina. Blissey. Because I feel that Blissey kind of represents my goals with my ASMR videos, I'm, like, the kind of presence I want to be. And also... Blissey's all about the tingles. Blissey's all about the tingles. Um, <laughs> Blissey gets all up in the tingles. And that's also, like, what your um, your other Pokemon... Yeah, I I go back and forth on this one, but I, like... Because I feel like... Do you having, feel like it's a little on the nose? I feel like it's too on the nose, and yeah. I actually don't like that. That's well, I just go back and forth on Sylveon, but I think probably the last one would be Sylveon because yeah. it's it's... It's, it's a he- it's a healing Pokemon. Yeah, it touches it's you with its ribbons, and, and it's then like, you're fr- oh, you feel friendship. It feels heart. good. Yeah, that's my team. Yeah, we actually have talked about this probably our entire relationship. Yeah, we were prepared for that one. 
luckily, yeah. we didn't have to think about that at all. No, no, that was a pretty easy Like, one. we keep that written down somewhere. I think it is, like, it, oh, there's a hard copy. There is. Yeah. That's important information to know. If you don't know what your Pokemon team is... Get out. Get... <laughs> I was going to say get it together. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I got I went more aggressive and there's two types of people. I'm just really excited. It's it's such a blessing to be here, to be with you, to be with the babies. Be with the babies, to like be privileged and lucky enough to celebrate and I'm so happy and I love you. Yeah. I love you too. But yeah, and also we're kind of getting back into our regular yeah, schedules. Yeah, we are. We had a bit of time away from making videos because Life was bonkers. Bonkers. It was bonkers. It was, it was bonkers. Disney's television bonkers. Disney Toon bonkers. Whatever. Toon Disney bonkers. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Someone out there got it. Someone was like, neat. I sort of, you, you, you botched it, but I got it. That's what someone said in the comments. <laughs> Please do not edit this out. If you edit this out, I will cry. <laughs> I want to do more videos. I really didn't ever... You say that at the end of every single video I we do. do together. I do, but I like... <laughs> All right, so that's always been, like, specific to AMAs, right? Sure. Leave it in the comments if you have something you want to see these wives do together. <laughs> and thank you again to all of our patrons. Yeah! We love you. Mm-hmm. We love you. She does the job better than I do. I'll just sit here and let her do We everything. do, though. Like, I mean... <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm gonna let you sign off because you've been kind of leading this one. Oh, in, a, in yeah, a cute way. Yeah, okay. Well, again, thank you so much for for watching. Um, thank you for being so supportive. Um, we are gonna get on a more regular schedule yes, for yeah. content. Mm -hmm. Um, and we are cooking up some fun, exciting stuff for the old 2018. Yeah. Hi. Hi there. So again, thank you so much for watching, and. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I'm just sitting here to see what you do if I don't say anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill that silence because boy, howdy, does it frighten me. Okay, bye guys. We bye. love you. Bye. We love you. Have happy holidays and well, <laughs> <laughs>